Sneaker fam, what's going on? It's your boy Jake back with another real and fake review. And review. I'm going to rush a little bit because, hey, I got to get ready for work. And I was supposed to have done this video um, uh, like around midnight, but I got too tired trying to set everything up. So without further ado, let's get it going. And I'm going to go in on this. I'm, I'm really going to go in on this fake because I did see the fake. All right. So y'all can tell from there that the boxes are different. Um, this is a bright white. This one's a, a off-white type color with a um, with a gloss on it. You know what I mean? And here, it's black. Black all around here. The fake. You know, come on now. Yeah. Then, all the fake enthusiasts know that this is like like one of the worst man this is this is a bad shoe you know it came with you know i guess they didn't know how the shoe was coming and i don't think they updated or changed changed any of this yet if they changed the packaging they probably didn't change the shoe this all comes from the off-white twos um the lows so um when i seen this shoe i was disappointed you know what i mean i don't usually don't get that disappointed in a fake shoe but you know what I mean? I want to be close because I want to be able to rock these things so I want have, so I can preserve my legit pairs. And God darn it, I can't with this, man. So that's why I'm mad. That's why I'm mad. And then this is just sloppy, man. It's just sloppy. You know? There you'll be able to see the differences in quality and craftsmanship, man. By the way, shout outs to uh, Sneaker Lover 83. He provided me with these horrible fakes. You know what I mean? Uh, of course, that's the inside of that. So let me not forget that. Should I look? Nah. This is one of the first versions, but like I said, I don't know if they changed it. Oh, man. Um. I mean, should I do it? God darn it, man. This is horrendous. Yo. Yeah, these things ain't scaled right. Uh, oh, man. Oh, they tried, man. They tried. Uh, this reptile iguana skin midsole look at it take a real good look this is the fake that is some of the most sloppiest craftsmanship i've ever seen look at that look at that mm -mm. quality Quality. I, I don't know. Hold on here. They tried to get the weathered look going on this. Now hold on here. No Monier tag? It gotta be in here somewhere. Oh, now I'm mad. All right, so just by looking at these shoes here. At a glance, you'd be like, okay, they they tried, they they captured what they needed to capture on this, but mm, I don't know it's enough. Number one, uh, this fake is a whole lot smaller, so I don't even know if that thing's true to size. Um, they got this black tracing. This is black tracing. When it's really burgundy, it's not black. It's burgundy. Whatever color that they called it, the wine color. I mean, look at that. This translucent, uh, this smoke material here. Oh, that's not smoke. That's cloudy. This is the fake. The stitch line here. I think I'm gonna stop the video. <laughs> the stitch line here on the retail shoe is black. Uh, they have it burgundy. This is from StockX as well. Uh, if you guys didn't see my uh, review 
Um, take a look at the back. I just, like I said, I just to stop the video. You, you can look at the quilted pattern in the back and the quality of this. This is absolutely insane. This is a waste of a video. I said, I'm going to go in on this shoe. I'm going to go in on this shoe because I'm mad because I can't wear the sucker. You know what I mean? I, I can't even cut the grass or nothing. This ain't, a, this ain't even a, a grass-worthy shoe because it's going to hurt my feet. Literally, the shoe should get burnt. Look at this, look at this poor shoe tree. Come on, man. You see that quilted pattern on the inside? Let me show you the quilted pattern on the inside. These cats ain't got no damn blueprint or nothing, man. Look at this crap. They probably seen a picture and was like, let's try to make this thing. Or they just don't have it. They just don't have what it takes to make a good Jordan 2 Monier. All right. No, these guys, these guys, if this doesn't show you that these guys really guessed on this shoe, because let me see if I can pull out the insole. Ah, and if it's glued in, if it's too hard, no, it's too hard. But you know these Moniers, what they have in here. Let's move this light down just a little bit. I can't pull out the insole, but. It has the burgundy, there you go, burgundy with the stamp on the inside. And on the fake, this is what they got, man. Now that's absolutely insane. You can't tell me that these cats were guessing. You know what I mean? These cats probably seen some composite images or something like that. They probably seen the box and then them boys tried to make their own. This is horrendous. This is terrible. I don't think I need to go anymore because is absolutely insane and that that shoe that shows that they don't care because that shoe shouldn't be on the market no fugazi seller from cross that water should have been selling this to somebody because this is nasty this is nasty this is probably the best thing they made on the shoe maybe that hang tag this thing is solid this thing is solid give credit where credit is due let me see what mine looking like oh man it's wrong <laughs> This thing's a lava, man. <laughs> this is... <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. Oh. It's not just a black like this just for laughs, right? It's probably going to be one of my shortest real fakes ever. We're going to black like this thing. I'm black like laugh and, 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 and just get this crap out of here man because i do need to get ready for work you know what i mean sometimes y'all make some all right fakes man but this is this is some straight hot garbage hot steaming steaming hot garbage man i was really hesitating man because i really felt it was bad i ain't know it's gonna be that bad that's bad Shout out to Amon Manier, Nike, and Jordan Brand for making a shoe that can't get replicated properly. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that. Because, of course, we see glue and stuff on here. This shoe is amazing, by the way. Absolutely amazing. This thing has stuff glowing all over the place which is just the lace uh, tra uh, trace patterns which is normal but um on these nah bruh none of the uh, patterns here none of the the laces i'm um, sorry the stitching glows check out the back and check out the back of this Man, man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Unbelievable. Hey, y'all, y'all. Uh, there's no need to go into detail. This thing don't even have wax laces, man. Uh, but I'm glad it's that bad because I don't have to, um, you know, 
I ain't got much to do, man. Um, I can get ready for work, man. Uh, <laughs> like, comment, share, subscribe, man. Hey, uh, don't hesitate to hit the super thanks, man, to give a little donation and have your uh, comment highlighted. That's the super thanks. Um, I am going to uh, most likely go live tonight or tomorrow and talk about StockX using three authenticators, which is absolutely insane. Especially with all the real flakes I've done on those shoes that most of them that they're complaining about. Some are like completely undetectable and, and I give credit where credit is due to the replicators, but some are not. You know what I mean? So and some that should be on the list that they're, you know, completely like um, omitting. Uh, so I guess they they're still passing fakes on those. Um, but uh, like I say, man, it's your boy, Jake, man. I appreciate y'all. I got to get ready for work. Thanks for watching. Y'all be easy, man. Y'all have a good Friday and be safe. I'm out.